Hi, <clears throat> Gordon here with another edition of the Unscripted series. I'm going to start a little mini-series on strings. And so with this introduction, I'm going to talk about why we use fluorocarbon strings. Now, I've said before, the right strings for you are both a matter of your personal preference and the instrument. And the point there is that for different instruments, you may prefer different strings. But there are certain laws of physics which you just can't avoid. And that is that we are aiming for a certain tension on our instruments. All instrument makers aim for that, and string designers aim for that. There's a certain tension that that instrument, that scale length, was designed for. So then you can look at each individual string. Say, what tension am I aiming for on that string? So here's the physics part of it. The denser the material that the string is made of, the thinner the diameter, to achieve a certain tension at a certain pitch. So what that means is that if you've got a really dense material like a metal string, it's going to be a thinner diameter than uh, a less dense material like something made of, of nylon. And again, that's just physics. You can't get around that. What that then means when you think about it is that if, if you use a denser material a string set for your on your instrument, then those strings are going to be thinner in order to achieve again that that same uh, tension that you're looking for. Thinner is better, and thinner is better because you get more sustain and you get more attack. As strings get thicker, and especially as the scale length gets smaller, they start to sound what we think of what we call thunky. And that's not something you want. You want this nice, beautiful attack, um, note attack, and nice ring or sustain on the string. It's why on your ukulele, your C string <coughs> is usually the thickest. <coughs> Sorry, it's early in the morning here. Your C string is your thickest string. And uh, as you notice, you go up the fretboard and you start to lose sustain on that string. All right. The densest material out there for ukulele strings is fluorocarbon. The least dense is nylon. We use fluorocarbon because they just ring beautifully. They have a great note attack and a sustain. Uh, we like the fluorocarbon st strings that are put together by, by Worth. But uh, anyway, that's why we use fluorocarbon. We think that they perform in a superior way on, uh, on our instruments. And that's just a little introduction to string design. With that, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.